All right. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today, what I got in store is gonna be checking out something pretty interesting, something I've never seen before. This is an interesting uh, demo game from the card game Magic the Gathering. This is from the expansion Portal Second Age. It's a demo game for two players. I'm really not sure what this is other than the thickest pack I have ever seen. I'm not sure if this is similar to the sampler pack that I opened up in a video in the past. Check that out, it's just from a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm not sure if they gave these out to new players or something like that, but it says not for resale, so I'm not sure what the deal is with this. It's the thickest pack I've ever seen. It's a two-player starter or like two-player demo game. Not sure if it's just all of these contain the same amount of cards for each of them. I only have one of them today, so I'm not really sure. This is this demo game contains 24 game cards from the Magic the Gathering Portal Second Age trading card game. A tip card and instructional sheet. Everything two players need to play their first magic game so i assume these are probably all the same and they probably give like each player like i don't know like 12 cards i'm guessing because there's 24 in here and uh, you got it kind of probably maybe walks you through it or something like that i'm not really sure anything about this very interesting never saw this and i thought it'd be really fun to open it up and check it out with you all because some of you might be interested just like i am to see what it's about thickest pack i have ever seen and this is quite old as well when did this come out 1998 i believe all right, let's just open this up and see what it's about. It looks like it comes in with some sort of portal $2 rebate. Cool, I'll get $2 off a portal pack. So I assume that all of these have the same cards in each of these demo packs, but then again, I'm not sure. We'll see if there's anything pretty sweet inside. If I can, if I can even open it. All right, there we go. So very, very thick little pile of cards. Right off the bat, it looks like, let's just see what this says. Stop. Start with the sample game on the other side before reading this page. Ooh, I done did it. I done messed up. Okay, there we go. Kind of like a starter deck. I wonder if they just gave these away for free. Look at this huge thing of literature. Absolutely giant. I can't even get it on camera very well. Looks like, uh, kind of shows you how to set up the field. Turn one, draw a card. So you have six in your hand. Play a forest. You don't attack because you haven't played any creatures yet. Play Norwood Ranger. Turning or tapping, you're forced to play it. Creatures can attack. Creatures can't attack the turn they're played, so you're done. Your territory should now look like this. Your territory. <laughs> cool. And it tells you what your opponent to do. So it kind of goes step by step how to play the game. And then your opponent goes draw a card, play an island. You don't attack because you haven't played a creature yet. Unfortunately, you can't play any creatures yet because you don't have enough lands on play yet. So you're done. Your territory should look like this. How do you start? It says, to start, you and your opponent each take one of the enclosed decks and draw five cards from it. But it's just one deck. And is there separated somehow? I don't know. Uh, uh, pretend you flip the coin <laughs> first and player A1. Oh, lucky player one. Uh, these instructions take you step by step through a sample magic game so you can uh, follow along with your cards. If you have questions during the game, take a look at the rules on the other side of this sheet. Uh, what to do each turn? You untap the cards you have played and tapped last turn. Draw a card from your deck. Play a land card if you have any in your hand. Attack your opponent if you want to. You can attack with all or uh, with any or all of your creatures, but your creatures can't attack your opponent. Draw creatures directly. Wait, but your creatures can't attack your opponent's creatures directly. Yeah, exactly. Tap a creature, turn it to show it's attacking. Your opponent may block the attackers. Uh, the attackers, your opponent can block each attacking creature with all or any of his or untapped creatures. Tapping creatures can't block all attacking. Uh, an attacking creature deals damage to its uh, uh, blocking and vice versa. Unblocking attacked deals damage to your opponent. If it reduces his or life less than zero, you win. Play creatures. If you want to, you can play as many as you can afford. For each one you play, you must tap a certain number of the type of lands as determined by the creature's cost. End your turn and uh, end your turn and tell your opponent you're done. Damage to creatures goes away. Very interesting, long-worded steps right there. And what's here? Order of ca of cards. If you want to play a uh, sampler game again, put the cards in the following order. So I guess it tells you the order of the decks. I don't know if they are in that order and how do I, oh, it looks like this splits it in half right here. I assume those are the decks and I assume, I hope they are in the same order. What's this tip card? What you do in a turn? <laughs> Openers, interesting. 
on top of your lands, draw a card from your deck and play a land from your hand, if you have one. Attacking, blocking, interesting, Proto Second Age. Let's just see if this is four, five, six, seven. So here we go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I believe these are the hands that they want you to have. You got one deck in the other, so green person plays this and they play their Norwood Ranger. Well, let's see what we got. I'm gonna go through this again. Ooh, got a Night Stalker. How cool is that? Got the Norwood Ranger and your opponent. They said play a land, but then you can't play anything. They say play an island. And then turn two. So it kind of walks you through. I don't have a whole lot of room right here. Turn two. How many turns does it go to? It says go to turn four. Turn four. Untap and draw a card and play a swamp. Then attack player B with your goblin. Your ranger. Player B chooses to block the goblin with the trooper. Uh, interesting. All right. And then what happens? Turn five. Game over. Who won? Now shuffle your deck. Challenge player A to a rematch. Who wins? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. How come it says her life total drops to negative one? You win. What's next? Interesting. Very interesting. So it looks like player one wins the game. On the back of here, there's a bunch of other literature. Beginning of the turn. Playing creatures, damaging your opponent. Set up. Let's see. Attacking your opponent. Blocking attackers. Talks about, like, uh, mana cost, I believe. Summary of play. The very basics. Land cards come in five types. Plains, islands, swamps, mountains, and forests. Creature cards come in five colors. White, blue, black, red, green. Look at the color and cards border, not the illustration. During your game, you need to control lands to get creatures on your side. Yep, and then kind of shows you the diagram of card. You got the card name up there. You got the casting cost. You got the card type, land or creature. You got the card art, of course. And uh, text box, got the text down there, and the power and toughness, and they didn't mention the artist's signature or artist name down there, which they usually do, kind of sad. All right, very interesting. Kind of, let's just, let's just look at the cards that it came with in here. Very interesting. So these are all uh, set out. You can kind of see the order of the turn. So each of these have the same amount of cards in them. So let's just go ahead and see what it's about. Love the art on these portal cards as well. Really like the symbol. Really like how they have the sword and the shield down there as well. Just for the power and toughness. Really let you know that this is the attack and this is the defense. I really like that. It'd be cool if they brought it back. Three and a blue. A Talus airship. You got this crazy looking zeppelin up there flying. Beautiful sunset in the sky right there. Lovely oranges and yellows and a little bit of the blue poking through. This is beautiful. This is drawn by Mark Tendon. It's a flying creature ship. <laughs> it's a creature that's a ship. Absolutely beautiful. Love this. Love the lands too from this. What is this? Portal Second Age. Look at the wood on there. Look at the shading. You got this like little tree hut up there. You got the waterfall in the background. Lovely greens. You got the strip of blue down the middle. Forest land by Quentin Hoover. Beautiful. Got a plated worm. Look at this. Like some crazy worm fighting with the goblin. They're just sitting there yelling at each other. He's got a stick out. About to poke him in the face. Looks like there's a clearing of trees right there. And this giant basilisk. Four and a green creature worm. It's a four or five. I'd hate to see the bird that could get this worm. Yeah, that's a big old worm. Beautiful. Uh, I'll just make piles. I got a Alborn Trooper. Two end of white. It's creature soldier. It's uh, by illustrated by Lubov. It's a 2-3. And it's just hanging out there. She's got her armor on. Got her red little kind of tail on her helmet. Looks like got a sun on her shield. And she's hanging outside of the walkway of the palace. And she's got like a jousting sword. I dedicate my body and my country and my life to my king. Crazy. Got a plains. Just a beautiful plains. Got like a homestead right there. Two little barn houses and a tiny little shed. Lovely mountainscapes and clouds and sky. By land by uh, Fred Fields. By the fields. Got another flyer. Got a tallow scout. One in a blue. Creature pirate flying. It's a one-two creature. Uh, scouting a battle before you fight. is It is just for good business. It is just good business. Just flying on this little boat. His boat has wings. Cool. This is run by Heather Hudson. Got an island by John Avon. Got this giant dragon flying in the sky, leaving a trail of mist. Beautiful little islands hanging out there. And you got two little boats flying by. You got two boats, the dragon, and beautiful sky and sea for ages by John Avon. Got a volunteer militia. 
One white creature soldier. It's a one-two. People fight hardest on their own soil. That is true. He's defending his own land as farmer. And he's got his little pitchfork. And he's going to stop the other intruders. You can see him in the background poking over the, the mountain. And then he's hiding behind these rocks ready to get him when they come by. One white for a one-two creature. Got a little bit of defense. Got a plains. Interesting plains hanging out in the desert. Not sure what this is. That was a little something. Uh, by Fred Fields. Interesting architecture. Looks pretty barren. Hopefully they get their good water. Got a, a talus merchant. One in a blue. Creature merchant. So one three. The traders let loose uh, a laugh that made all around him check their purses. <laughs> they're just hanging out. Looks kind of like they're in the desert. And the water back there. Not sure if that's a mountain in the background. Some sort of ship sail. Crossing their arms. They're traders, all right. Got a wild griffin, two and a white. It's a flying griffin. It's a two-two creature, hanging out there, flying above the city. Very interesting green city in the mountainscape. Kind of got the snowy peaks in the background. Kind of orange-looking sky, and this griffin just hanging out with his eagle claws and talons, lion feet and bird wings. How cool is that? Two and a white. Got another island by John Avon. Looks like some sort of parachute. I think that's a parachute, or is it a hot air balloon? You can see some structures on the island over there. You got this tiny little one over here with just a couple of trees. Beautiful blue water, absolutely beautiful. Look at the clouds. Picturesque, absolutely love me. John Amon, beautiful lands, love these lands. Got a Norwood Ranger, this is definitely by Ron Spencer. Very beautiful, just, just like, uh, geez. he or she is just hanging out. I think it's a female elf, it's hard to tell. A very narrow looking face, kind of goes into a point, kind of like a wolf or something, very long ears. And she's hanging off of a tree above the canopy. Some fog and smoke in the background. Got kind of the sunset. Just setting in the background. One green creature elf. Some trees bear a deadly fruit. It's a one-two creature. Cool. I got a swamp by Susan Van Camp. This is a beautiful swamp, to be honest. It's got like some sort of tower in the background that's completely des desecrated. Uh, breaking over, you got the reflection in the water. Look at the reflection of the trees and everything. So perfect. And very great picture. A little bit of like browns in the ground. This is by Susan Van Camp. Absolutely lovely. Got a goblin raider. This guy's hanging out. Kind of looks like Yoda or something like that. I don't know if he's got a sword or a, a weapon. It's hard to tell. And he's got twigs on his head. Hanging out. Got his little robin. Uh, red robin. Uh, hood on. One in a red. Goblin raider. Can't block. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. But he can't block. <laughs> got an orc. Ogre. Berserker. Four in a red. Creature ogre. Ogre Berserker is unaffected by summon sickness. It's a 4-2, can attack right away. Looks like he's got some sort of spinning uh, saw, weapon, sword. Kind of got a silly look on his face. He's got his teeth, a uh, very big underbite, sticking his teeth out of his mouth. It looks like he's got some acne on his head, and he's almost got like cat-like hands. Interesting. This is done by David A. Cherry. Got a mountain. Uh, by Rob Alexander. Just a beautiful mountain. Nice little pinks in the sun, reflecting off of the, like the fog. I'm not sure what those structures are. Those trees? Possibly. Cool. Got a prowling Night Stalker. Night Stalkers are pretty cool. Do want to make like a Night Stalker deck. Looks like they have very similar weapons right here. Almost looks kind of like Star Wars. Like, look at that. They have like sort of rifles or something like that, which is weird. And I don't think that they should have weapons like that in this game. Uh, three and a black. And he's just walking through, just like really white creature, very pale, pretty creepy looking, long looking hair. Almost looks like the Grinch kind of, and uh, looks like a soldier, creature Night Stalker. Probably Night Stalker can't be blocked except by other black creatures. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Cool. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Just run by uh, Keith Parkinson. Got myself another forest, beautiful forest, the same one. Got a Raging Goblin. It's one red. It's unaffected by summon sickness, so it has haste. It's a 1-1 one -one Goblin. It's got a giant axe swinging it, very thin little arms, swinging this huge axe. Got a bat on his belt, it looks like, and very pipe, uh, pointy knee knee braces, and his tongue is sticking out. Very red background. This is drawn by Jeff Miracola. Got another mountain, beautiful mountain by Rob Alexander. Snowy peaks. Got, again, the fog kind of covering up the bottom of the mountains. I'm not sure if those are birds flying. Kind of hard to tell. Just a nice little fade. Absolutely lovely details and depth on the mountains. Looks like an opening right there. Who lives in there? Probably a big old giant. And then I got a dark more scorpion. It is one and a black for a creature scorpion. It's a two one. Just a two one scorpion hanging out. Lovely yellows in the background. Nice little shadowing. And it looks like this guy looks pretty big, pretty thick. You can see the details in like the little kind of 
texture on his big old claws. Cool. And uh, I got a moaning spirit as well. Oh, who drew this one? Randy. And Gala goes through this one. And I got a moaning spirit. Two and a black. This creature spirit with flying. It's a 2 1 creature. The dead sing their own lullabies. Just at this creature, this woman, this beautiful woman. She's like a spirit. Long, see through kind of capes. Walking in the forest in the snow. Creepy. This is drawn by Rebecca Guai. And then I got a swamp by Susan Van Camp. Absolutely beautiful. Another building just completely uh, toppled over. You got like some roots growing through the building. This looks almost like a crab or something like that. I think it's a root. It's hard to tell. Maybe it's a creature. Crazy. It looks like some sort of face. Maybe this tree's alive. Definitely looks like these trees. It looks like two different trees growing out of each other. Almost lifelike. Beautiful. So I did get a couple lands and I did a couple creatures. And yeah, very interesting little Portal Second Age demo pack. Not really sure uh, how you got these or when they gave them out. Maybe if you went to a car shop and you're asking about the game, they gave them to you. It says not for resale, but obviously I got mine for resale back in the day. They probably didn't resell them. Just a lot of information on here. Tells you about blocking, attacking, kind of shows you how to play the game. It gives you a step through the game. I wasn't sure that there was enough cards to actually finish the game, but if you played the game exactly like they have it played out right here, the game would take five turns, and then the game would uh, be over, and it looks like you win. And I think by you win, player A wins. So hopefully you pick player A. Very interesting, very interesting little thing. Portal Second Age is a really cool set. I really like the art on it. The art on it is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I really do like uh, the sword and the shield down there as well. And yeah, just a lot of fun opening this up and checking it out. Not really sure what to expect. Yeah, and I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. Uh, there'll be more of these videos to come. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for stopping by. And have a beautiful, wonderful day.